we have with us one of the most anticipated cars of 2021 after XUV 700 of course which is the i20 N9 now this car didn't come in the form that I expected it to come in which is the N badge but it is what it is now Hyundai claims that there have been 27 changes to this car over the normal i20 which are majorly cosmetic but there have been a few tweaks to the suspension, ride and handling and a few here and there and with a heavy heart I have to say this that this car still comes with the same old 1 litre turbocharged engine which we get in the uh, i20, normal one uh, and oh boy, <laughs> this car does not come cheap now this car uh, for the N6 variant which is the base variant it is priced at 9.86 lakhs and goes all the way up to 11.5, 11.8 lakhs for the topmost variant for the DCT. So today is the i20 day and we are going to talk about everything. So I am Divisan Mani and you are watching The Driver's Hour. Let's talk about the engine first. So this is the part where I was a little disappointed. So this is the one liter turbocharged engine. So this produces 120 horses and uh, 174 newton meter of torque and the 0 to 109.99 seconds, uh, which is decent. But do you know that the i20 N version gets a 1.6 liter turbocharged engine, which produces 204 horses? and 270 newton meter of torque and a 0 to 100 in 6.2 seconds can you just imagine having that in India not even the thought of it makes me well or maybe Hyundai you could have given us the 1.4 liter turbocharge the Kretas one uh, but theek hai uh, I get Hyundai had to keep the costs in mind now coming to the looks of this car it isn't difficult at all to distinguish it from the normal i20 as Hyundai has given it an N badge everywhere it could. So the major changes in the front is this uh, blacked out uh, checkered flag grille and the N badge over there. Also this red lip which I think looks, looks really nice. Also talking about these headlamps, so these are LEDs but uh, the fog lamp is a halogen. So coming to the side of this vehicle, the first thing you notice are these amazing looking alloy wheels. So these are 16 inches, 17 inches would have killed it, but this is what you get. Also, uh, you got this red skirt running all over here, the N-line badge here again. And also a little easter egg in this uh, N-line version, you also get disc brakes in the rear. Uh, coming to the back, uh, so the major changes here is this uh, black spoiler which really complements the sportiness of this vehicle and uh, this uh, black room insert also these beautiful looking dual exhaust tips and LED tail lamps now the sportiness theme has been continued in the interior as well so the first thing that you notice is red finishing almost everywhere in the cabin. Also you've got uh, this uh, black roof and black pillars and it has got a uh, red ambient light which uh, looks very sporty but uh, maybe they could have integrated it a little better like what they have done in the altros. And now the thing that I like the most about this interior is this amazing new steering wheel. It feels very premium, very very sporty and also got this amazing feeling paddle shifters that you get with the DCT the design of this steering wheel Hyundai what a good job you have done it's just one thing that really annoys me about the i20's interior is that there are hard plastics literally everywhere uh, yeah the quality of the plastic is nice but maybe a few little soft touches here and there would have been nice especially where uh, you keep your arm um, uh, this is hard plastic as well also uh, you've got the sunroof and this very very nice instrument cluster uh, which i think really really looks very smooth you heard 
loved it and you liked it. Uh, how can we talk about this car and not talk, talk about it exhaust? Uh, this is something that every enthusiast is gonna love. Also, your uh, neighbors are gonna love it since it's not very loud. Uh, do I like this exhaust? Yes. Does Karul Bagh has better exhaust systems? Absolutely yes. So Hyundai says that they have stiffened the suspension by over 30% and believe me you can easily feel that. The car feels much more stuck to the ground, it feels more confident. Uh, you don't feel body roll or uh, corners. In fact, you want to go to them. You want to take this car to the corners since this car provokes you to do it. Uh, now, due to this stiffened suspension, you do feel the portholes. But uh, if you're an enthusiast, you will like it for sure. Uh, now, there is also better communication with the handling. Uh, the steering feel communicates a lot better. Uh, it is a little light. Uh, and it does uh, weigh a little uh, at high speeds but uh, I would have liked the weight to be a little more but uh, and we are driving the DCT right now and I don't have any complaints with the DCT and to complement the DCT uh, the Hyundai has given it uh, paddle shifters which work really really nice I just have one little problem that why couldn't Hyundai just give it a normal manual transmission it would have just changed the aura of this car and would have been so so much more better but uh, all in all this is a very nice car to drive and it's definitely a big improvement over the normal i20 so one thing about the exhaust is that you can't really hear it with the windows up and ac on so the exhaust uh, sound is more for the outside people also one thing yes this one liter turbo engine is fine but I can't just help but imagine what if it had a better engine, what if it had a bigger engine. And uh, But this is what you get for the for the price. And uh, there isn't very uh, a lot to complain with this engine. This is a very refined engine. It doesn't cry out loud while providing the power. It's, it's very, very refined, very quiet. Uh, you can't beat a uh, Hyundai when it comes to refinement of the engine. See, all in all, the i20 N-Line is a very capable car. You've got the best in class features, you've got the best in class space, you've got a very, very refined engine. Also, you've got a very nice DCT. Uh, yeah, the manual is missing, but okay. But there is just one thing that bothers me. See, the normal i20 already charges a premium. And paying 50,000 to 1 lakh extra for this might sound reasonable to a few, but it does take the value for money quotient out for many of the Indian buyers. Now talking about the closest competitor of this car, which is the Polo, the difference between these two vehicles is almost 2.35 lakhs. And for 2.35 lakhs, I can get my Polo tuned to stage 2, I can uh, get a new exhaust system to my liking, I can do all the cosmetic upgrades I need, and still have money left to take my girlfriend to the nicest restaurant. But if you don't mind the value for money question, this beauty standing over here makes complete sense for you. And it, it offers you pretty much everything you'll ever need. I would really like to thank uh, Deep Hyundai for providing us the car and being our partners. This is easily one of the finest uh, showrooms in Delhi. Uh, they have a great service center, they have great staff and uh, they'll make your car buying experience as easy as anything. Deep Hyundai was uh, start as a Hyundai dealership in 1998. We are the first wedge of dealer. We have a four service center in Delhi. We have a uh, online insurance services. You can purchase any Hyundai car from us. We have an online services facility like click to buy. You can go from it. We have a large number of bank for a car loan. So please contact us on below giving numbers. For any query, thank you. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like and share and do subscribe to The Driver's Hub.